The Cocker Spaniel is a fascinating breed and one of the most popular breeds on the planet for good reason. Now in today's video I'm going to hand you over to one of my breed history experts who's going to talk about some more fascinating facts about the Cocker Spaniel that you probably don't already know. Number one, they were once only distinguishable by size. Once upon a time, spaniel types were separated into water and land spaniels based on their roles. Later, the water spaniels fell by the wayside somewhat, with most now extinct, and land-based spaniels took precedence. From these, spaniels were then subdivided by their on-land purpose, pointing and flushing. Pointing entailed identifying quarry and guiding hunters forward to its source, in much the same way as pointer dogs do now. Conversely, flushing entailed diving into the undergrowth and brush to force any quarry from its hiding place to be shot or taken down by other dogs. The latter variety were, were referred to as springers because of how they would spring game from where it was concealed. But these weren't just the springer spaniels of today. They were any spaniel who would flush game subdivided only by the size of the prey that they were flushing. As such, Cockers were once just a variety of springers who were quite small, and that was it. In fact, early cockers would often enter dog shows as cockers when they were young and small, and then again as springers when they had aged and grown in size, which made for a confusing route through the archives, I can tell you. Nowadays, cockers are of course distinct from springers rather than a subdivision of them. Number two, they are named for their skill. So, the name Spaniel, in terms of its etymology, has been wildly overcomplicated. Even just saying a Spaniel out loud gives the game away, Espanol. These dogs likely originated in Spain, even if there is some ongoing debate about whether they had Celtic or even ancient Roman origins. And because that is the dominant theory, they were simply labelled early on as Espanol dogs, or Spaniels for short, to anglicise the name. Even if a better understanding of history came up regarding a definitive origin story for the origins of the early Spaniel type, the name would likely remain the same. Just look at Labradors and Australian Shepherds, who have, we have all known for decades, don't come from the countries that their names might suggest, but they have accrued far too much history and cultural capital under those misnomers that changing them now would be both pointless and counterproductive. As for the cocker part of the name Cocker Spaniel, that's easy. Their diminutive size and other later specialisations meant that they were perfectly suited for springing Eurasian woodcock, making them woodcock springers, or to shorten it, cockers. And number three, they can smell cancer. Okay, don't get too excited. A more accurate fun fact would be that they can be trained to detect cancer. Or to put it even more accurately, a Cocker Spaniel dog was the first ever to demonstrate a verifiable ability to detect cancer in humans in an English study. The pooch, whose name was Tangle, owing to a delightful top knot of mohawk-like fur atop his head, was trained so well that he went from an initial capacity to give a 56% accurate diagnosis of cancer during the study, to an 80% accurate diagnosis after further work with the trainers and researchers. It should be no surprise that a cocker succeeded in this work first because they used their noses to exceptional levels of success when pursuing their quarry in their working role. Many more dogs have now been trained up to detect cancer in humans with astonishing degrees of accuracy that outperform our best scientific tests repeatedly and consistently. This new generation of cancer detection dogs have outperformed Tangle's original work by now, but he will always be the first. Indeed, he walked so that others could run, and for that we must be forever grateful to him. And of course to the research team behind the work, making it possible to tap into the outstanding olfactory capacity of our canine pals and in the process, save lives. Guys, if you love the Spaniel breeds as much as we do here, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We make videos about the Spaniels every single week, and we can't wait to see you on the next episode.